off the bat here. If you're new, my name is Ryan, no autopilot YouTube channel. My goal with this channel is to take uh, crypto projects and do deep, deep research into them, share that with you. So hopefully maybe you can learn something you didn't know about the projects that you care about. And then two, hopefully find some diamonds in the rough that I can invest in and kind of create an ongoing portfolio of quasi research, somewhat promising crypto projects. Now, if you didn't know, we cover these reviews every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And how we decide what projects that we cover is through this survey that I send out every single day. So in essence, I get, let me pull this up here. Hold on. Where's my, where's my stream thing right there. Okay. So I get tons of different projects mentioned to me in the comment section, uh, hit up on Twitter saying, hey, can you look at this? Can you look at that? You can look at this. And this is the list. Okay. So there's a lot. Now, if you do have a token that you want to jump ahead of the line and you want me to dedicate a full video into reviewing, I did just create a Patreon, you know, a shameless plug here. And if you go ahead and sign up as a Patreon member, which is $5 a month, you get a exclusive voting power to decide on what tokens we review on the channel. And in fact, we have a bit of a celebration and hopefully I don't pronounce your name wrong, but we actually got our first Patreon supporter um, yesterday, uh, Tuhin Kumar. So Tuhin, if you're out there, I hope you're having a great day and thank you again for supporting the channel. Uh, Tuhin had asked that I actually reveal, review the project uh, Chili's which is interesting because I've wanted to follow Chili's for a while. I've wanted to put a video out on it and I think there's some potential there. So two hints, stay tuned. I'll get this video out for you next week and hopefully it'll be uh, enlightening for you, for everybody else. Okay, so with all that stuff out the way, let's go ahead and pull this thing over here. Okay, perfection. So our first token is Radio Kaka. Oh, I should say, disclaimer, not financial advice. I'm just some random dude on the internet. Don't trust me. Before you spend your hard-earned money, you probably want to get at least a couple different pieces of information, ideally from conflicting sources, before you go ahead and make that final call. Okay, now I can't get sued. <laughs> so, Radio Kaka, from a high level, what, the, what they are doing is they have a, a group that's overseeing the Metamin game which is a play to earn game, Metamin Island. In addition to that, they have the United States of Mars Metaverse. And then through their website, they also mention that they are launching and developing uh, the USM chain. I'm assuming that's the United States of Mars chain to go ahead and try and get around some of those ETH scaling fees and some of those interoperable uh, cross bridge uh, blockchains that they're trying to attach to. So right off the bat, sounds like they have a lot going on. Sounds like they have a lot going on. I did pull up a little demo here. So this is from Crypto Dash. Crypto Dash, I'll give you a shout out in this video for, for sharing this little quick snippet. But just some gameplay. So it's very similar to Axie Infinity. You have monsters, you battle them, you level them up, you hatch eggs to get stronger monsters, and it's all connected into the tokenomics. So you know the potential to farm yourself a nice little living. That's what they're aiming to do. That's what they're trying to, to do here. So that's that's cool. That's cool. Um, this is what the <laughs> this is what the metaverse looks like. Now, this is a beta stage, so this isn't you know exactly um, prime time, if you will. But that's kind of what it looks like there. Now, there are a few ways to earn some money through Radio Kaka. Again, terrible name, dude, terrible name. But they have some staking pools, uh, different dates associated to them, different lengths. They have a liquidity provider farm where you can provide a trading pair. So this example is gonna be Raka and BUSD. You had to earn some uh, liquidity rewards. And in addition to that, they have NFT land where you go ahead and purchase land and earn an incentive for, for owning it. And then finally, they have a little swap up there at the top. 
Now, one thing that was curious to me, and I couldn't find any more information on it, if we jump back to their main page here, they mentioned the Rocket DAO. And typically, a DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization where you take tokens, you distribute it across your user base, and everybody can vote on the future of the project. And it's a way to like help it appreciate and value and grow and attract new users while also kind of curving off uh, scams and schemes and all that. But I didn't really see any information on their website through the white paper talking about that. So uh, pause for a quick comment. Oh, what's up, Cra <laughs> dude? Crypto Morocco's back again. Uh, let's see. My only play to earn token I currently have are TCT. Tacitit token and Klee. Yeah, man, I haven't heard of either of those. I'll have to take a look at those. I actually write down all the tokens that you guys mentioned at the end of the video and do like at least a quick two minute research um, because you guys are on to a lot of things I haven't even heard of before. So I'll take a look at those. Um, where was I? Okay, so the next thing I want to look at, and you know this is coming if you followed this channel for a while, is the founding team because I'm not giving my hard earned money to someone who's too afraid to dox themselves and share who they are. And unfortunately for the Radio Kaka team, they do not have uh, dox devs. Um, I searched as hard as I could. I couldn't find anything on them other than this Reddit post where someone else asked the same question. And down here, they confirmed that it's uh, um, anonymous leadership team. They did link to this gentleman as one of the team members. So Vitaly, who's the head of marketing for this uh, Metaverse project. And he seems relatively active on Twitter. But outside of him, I wasn't able to find anybody. And I don't know much about this guy uh, at all. So right off the bat, not feeling so hot. Not feeling so hot on Radio Kaka. Now for the official Twitter account, it is pretty active. It is pretty active. They have 91,000 followers. Not sure how many of those are bots, but just throwing it out there. Something we got to keep keep in mind. Um, I do have a tool called DAP Radar. You guys can access this too. It's a really helpful website. They aggregate data on um, play to earn games and DAPs. I pulled up some of the metrics on uh, Metamon Island and it's looking a little rough right now. So it shows that transactions are down 60%. The balances are down 98%. Now that could be tied to the massive, massive dip that we're kind of dealing with right now. But I think in conjunction with some of the other stuff that we've seen, some of the other stuff we're going to see, I think it might have more to do with the overall uh, likely failure that's going to be Metamon. Um, quick pause. Oh, man, not doxed. Red, dude, red flag. 100%. Um, all right. So they had a few weird announcements come out. So Maya Musk who I didn't know, even know existed, but apparently Maya Musk is Elon Musk's mother. And because he's famous, now she must also be famous because America. <laughs> she had a uh, NFT collection called uh, Diamonds Are Forever. And supposedly, she chose Radio Kaka to go ahead and manage that for her. Now, I haven't found anything from Maya mentioning Raka, but... Raka said that they are the folks who are managing that on the back end for her. So that's a little weird. That's a little weird. Why would she choose kind of this random group um, to go ahead and run with something like that? And also, what type of management is really needed for an NFT collection? But I digress. They also had an announcement come out through uh, BSC News saying that they have all these several institutional partnerships such as Binance, Stanford, uh, Google, Artificial Intelligence, SpaceX Foundation, Maya Musk, Coda9. <clears throat> Again, I haven't been able to find anything else mentioning any of this. So I'm kind of led to believe it, it may be manipulation or lies or deception on, on the hands of the Rocket Group. Could be wrong. I'm just a dude. 
But to me, it just seems really, really weird. Um, what else do we have here? Sorry, I'm looking over at my notes. All right, yeah, so tokenomics. So this was another thing that was kind of confusing to me. Um, so they mention these token supplies, which I, I don't have the zoomed out or zoomed in at all. Like this is the layout of their website. Um, so in order to read these things, you have to zoom in 175%. <laughs> But they mentioned from a tokenomic standpoint, the genesis of the token, 500 billion tokens. But then they have version one, version two, and another version two on December 25th with different total supplies, different locks. So I don't fully understand what's happening there. Um, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, when it comes to tokenomics, you know, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on it. But if I'm confused, 100%, the average person who hops on this website is going to have no idea what the hell is happening. Um, in addition to that, they do have a few different tokens. So they have B Rocka version one and B Rocka version two. In addition to that, they have E Rocka, the big green donators. So from what I could tell, so the Rocka version one was the original token that was launched on BSC and they created a Rocka version two that moved away from token burns that were set up in version one uh, and enables cross chain voting and it stops the token from automatically adding liquidity. So I don't have any information as to what that means or why they would do that, but apparently it was important enough to do. And then for e Rocka, supposedly that's going to be a cross-chain bridge uh, to Ethereum. That's the vision there. So overall, pretty vague. Sounds complex. I'm not. I'm not really thrilled about that. Um, here's the Medium article that they put out about their bridge to Ethereum. Now, when we look at the token. Um, I'm not a fan of the distribution that we're seeing here. What is this? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, probably 80% of the tokens are held by six wallets. That's definitely a red flag. That's definitely a red flag. Um, the token itself, 10,000 million billion. Again, total max supply is 442 billion with only 40% of it out in circulation right now. From a pricing standpoint, protocol launched August 20th at a rally up and then a subsequent subsequent crash. So not sure what's happening there. Oh, quick comment. What's up? Igbal, what's up, man? Hey, dude. What about Veracity? Is it a scam or legit? <sighs> dude, I, I feel Veracity is a scam, but... I called it a scam last year and it ended up like two or four Xing in price. So just because it's a scam doesn't mean you can't make money on it. It just means that you have to know when to get out and you have to make sure that you're not the bag holder. Um, I actually read something yesterday about them listing on another exchange. I think today or yesterday. Uh, it didn't seem to have an immediate effect on the price, but if you want on the channel, I have a full video breakdown of veracity and why I'm not a fan of it. Um, yeah. OK, so jump back into Radio Kaka. They also had some news come out. So they had a Certic audit <clears throat> that found five uh, issues four that were major, one that was medium. Now, again, this really doesn't mean anything. I think these Certic audits are probably like 10 grand, 15 grand. They're probably even cheaper than that if they're not doing a deep dive. So you can just pay for these. It doesn't mean really anything about the legitimacy of the contract. Um, what else do we have here? They did have this pop up on Twitter. Uh, this is just today where they're going to go ahead and do some sort of an airdrop. So if you hold USM tokens, uh, they're going to go ahead and allow you. Wait, hold on. Break this down one more time. You need to hold the USM chain. Gotcha. 
the more USM you hold, the more Raka you will get. Okay, so I had it I had it backwards. Okay, so if you hold USM, they're going to do an airdrop of Raka later today to, you know, uh, I guess reward those folks. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. It does not have me excited at all. When we look at the roadmap, um, it's pretty basic. <clears throat> you know, the one thing I will say, so they, they do have the Metamin game launched, right? A lot of these projects say they're going to launch something and then they don't. And that's you know pretty straightforward. It's a scam or they're incompetent. But at least with this group, they have launched a game. No one's playing it. And it seems they probably don't have enough money to market it and get everything put together like they need to. But, I mean, that has to be worth something. They actually got that put together. And it seems like they are doing some development when it comes to that United States of Mars game. So, and then finally, from a design standpoint, I mean, obviously, this is this is really lackluster. Um, you know, for these type of projects, really, funding is going to come in two ways. Either from the community, because you get everybody excited and they want to buy in. And you can't do that if you have a crappy website. And the other way is to get some venture capital firms uh, to come and, and give you some money to bootstrap you getting off the ground. And if they hopped in here and they saw this website, they're they're sure the heck not going to give you any damn money. So I think wrapping up Radio Kaka. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It just seems poorly put together, overly complex. They have made some progress on the roadmap and they have launched some stuff. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't even add it to my risky um, uh, blockchain gaming portfolio that I'm, put, that I'm putting together. <clears throat> you could speculate. You could throw some money in there and hope that maybe something pumps. But if you do, you just need to be prepared to lose it all. So Radio Kaka for me, uh, it's a no-go. No-go.